Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Presenting to you this lovely 2019 Renault Capture. And in this video, I'll show you the complete exterior, as well as take you around the interior. So I'll show you all around this Renault Capture. So without further ado, let's begin today's video. So now let us start off with the exterior walk around of this beautiful 2019 Renault Capture. So this is the overall look of the 2019 Renault Capture. Overall, it looks very nice on this angle. I really love the overall design and it has really good proportions as well. So now let's take a look at the front. So as you can see, this is the front fascia of the Renault Capture. Overall, the front end looks very nice. As you can see, it looks especially very good in this orange paintwork. I really love this exterior color. So now let's go up close. So as you can see, you get your Renault badge right here, proudly presented in the center. And you get this chrome strip that runs all the way from the left to the right it's a very nice detail and you get this gloss black finishing right here on the grill and this pattern as well right here in matte black as you can see so yeah overall the grill design looks very nice you get this very nice rugged looking front diffuser as you can see in matte black it's very nice so as for headlights the Renault Capture does get halogen indicators as you can see it gets halogen projector headlamps right there but you get LED daytime rain lights down here. These are LED DRLs, as you can see. These are your LED daytime rain lights. And you get LED front fog lights as well. And they have a very nice detail as well. The daytime rain light cluster as well as the fog light cluster, as you can see. They look very nice. So yeah, those are your headlights. And overall, they look very nice, if you ask me. And the headlights do have a nice detail as well, if you go up close. And overall, the front end looks very nice as you can see. And the overall design is quite good as well. You get these bonnet lines as well right here. These kind of lines as you can see. They look very nice. And modern. So taking a look at the side. So this is the side profile. Overall, from this angle, it looks very nice as well. Very nice overall design. So as for tyres, the Renault Capture does come with Continental tyres, as you can see the Continental Conti Eco Contact tyres. And the tyre dimensions do measure 205, 55 are uh, 70. So these are the 17 inch rims as you can see. Overall the 17 inch rims do look very nice, they have a very nice design. You get the Renault badge in the centre and you get this brush chrome finishing as well as this gloss black finishing. Looks very nice overall and the rims do look very nice if you ask me. I really love the overall design. And up there you get your sensor for your automatic wipers. This car doesn't come with um, any autonomous systems and all that. So moving to the side mirrors. So the side mirrors on the Renault Capture is finished in gloss black as you can see. It looks very sporty. And you get LED indicators integrated on the side mirrors as well. The overall the side mirror design does look very nice as you can see. You get front quarter windows as well. So that's the front end. You get body color door handles for the Renault Capture. And you get keyless entry as well for both front doors. This part is finished in matte black. Let's take a look at the interior. So that's the interior as you can see. Overall the interior looks very nice from this angle as well. We'll cover that later. So now let's take a look at the side profile of the Renault Capture. So as you can see, this is the side look of the car. Overall, the Renault Capture does look very nice from the side. It has really good proportions as you can see. And I really love the overall design. Now moving on to the rear. So as you can see, this is the rear end of the Renault Capture. Overall, the rear end looks very nice as well. It looks really futuristic and modern. And I really love the overall design. So now moving on. You get this dual tone finishing as well. The orange on the bottom. And you get the black roof as well as you can see. You can see you get the gloss black roof. And the orange paintwork below. So it's a dual tone finish. Makes it look very nice as well. Kind of has the floating roof design. So this is the rear end. 
And yeah, overall it looks nice. Your rear tires right there. You get your antenna up there, as you can see. You get a gloss black rear spoiler. Very nicely done. Your integrated brake light right there. Your rear, your rear wiper. So as for tail lights, the Renault Capture does get halogen indicators, halogen reversing lights. But you get LED brake lights and LED tail lamps as you can see. The tail lamps do look very nice as well. They have this three stripe kind of design. It's very nice. You get rear parking sensors as well. Those are the reflectors. And your rear fog light is right here in halogen as you can see. And your rear exhaust pipe is down there as you can see. You get the same rear diffuser finish. Almost the same design as the front, finished in this matte black. Your Renault badge right here, capture lettering, your Renault lettering right here, and your TCE badge right there. And yeah, overall the rear end does look very nice as you can see. So here is the rear end of the Renault capture. Overall it looks especially nice from this angle. I really love the look of it from the back. And yeah, it looks really sporty if you ask me. So you get your fuel door right here. And you get this chrome finishing as well on the sides. To make it look very nice. So you get your chrome finishing. As well as this matte black finishing right here. So chrome right here as well. So now let's take a look at the interior. Just a quick look. That's your door panels. That's the interior. And these are your seats. We'll cover the interior deeper and we get into the interior tour. And I must say I really love the door opening and closing sound. So now getting back to the front. So yeah, I guess that's it for the exterior walk around. We can continue with the interior tour. So now let us take a look at the engine bay of the stunning 2019 Renault Capture. So just locate a catch right here just pull on it right here and the engine bay will open right up as you can see the engine bay is helped by these two hydraulic struts which can be really helpful when opening and closing the engine bay so as you can see that's your engine right there overall the engine bay is clean and tidy as you can see overall engine bay looks quite nice so the Renault Capture is powered by a 1.2 litre engine producing around 120 horsepower and 205 newton meters of torque respectively. All the power is sent to the front wheels via a 6 speed automatic transmission. So 0 to 100 can be done in around 10.9 seconds. It can go onwards to a top speed of 190 kilometers per hour. And yeah, overall the engine bay looks quite nice as you can see right there. No complaints for the overall engine bay layout. And yeah, overall it looks nice. And this is how it looks like with the engine bay open. Yeah, overall it looks very nice. So now let's close it. So now let's take a look at the interior of the stunning 2019 Renault Capture. But before that, here is the key card of the 2019 Renault Capture. Overall, the key card does have a very nice design. Feels very nice to hold as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unlock it. So as you may have noticed, the side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car, the side mirrors will automatically fold in as you can see. And when you unlock the car again, The side mirrors will automatically fold out again. So the Renault Capture does come with Renault's version of a smart keyless entry and start system. 
So just simply have the key card on yourself. The car is currently unlocked at the moment. So to lock the car, just press this black button on any of the front door handles. Side mirrors will fold in. And to unlock the car, just wait a moment and press the black button again on any of the front door handles. So as you can see, the car is locked. So to unlock it, just press the black button again. As you can see. So these are the door panels of the 2019 Renault Capture. And that's the interior right there. Overall, the interior does look very nice from this angle. These are the seats. So yeah, let's start off with the interior tour. So on the doors, you get a speaker right here. You get a storage area right here. The speaker has the setting chrome finishing surrounding it. This part is finished in rather hard plastics. Right here you have your mirror controls and your window controls. All of the windows in this Renault Capture are powered. Well, only the driver's side is the only side that gets a full automatic function in both directions. Window lock right here. And you get a little storage area right here. Chrome door handles. Feel very nice. So overall, the door panels do look very nice. This part up here is finished in soft touch plastics with um, contrast stitching right here. Also soft touch plastics right here. Here, it's finished in rather hard plastics. This part is finished in soft touch plastics as well, not leather. Uh, here you get hard plastics. But yeah, overall, the build quality is quite good. And I would say the door panels do look very nice. So right here you have your aircon vent surrounding um, in gloss black, as you can see. Right here you have your parking sensor button. And this button activates or deactivates the vehicle's auto start stop feature. If you have this feature turned on, the engine will momentarily shut off when you arrive at a stop such as a traffic light or traffic jam to save the extra bit of petrol that this car is running on. Headlight level adjustment lever, interior brightness adjustment lever, your pedals down there, and the driver's seat in this Renault Capture. Just get full manual adjustments with all the controls down there. So this lever right here controls your seat height. This lever down here controls your seat position. Whereas, this knob right here controls your seat back. So the seats in this Renault Capture are upholstered in very nice black leather as you can see. They feel very plush and smooth to the touch. And you get this contrast stitching right here as well. And yeah, overall the seats themselves do look very nice and comfortable to sit on. You get adjustable headrest as well. And yeah, overall it looks very nice. The interior is amazing as well. So now let's step inside and start the car. So this is the driver's view of the interior. Overall interior is nice. So now let's start her up. So there are a couple of ways to start the Renault Capture. The first way is by inserting the key card into the slot right here. That turns on the ignition and then put your foot on the brake. And then just hit the engine start stop button. So that's your first way to start the car. The second way is in conjunction with the smart keyless entry. You get push button start as well. So to start the Renault Capture, the second way is just have the key fob within the interior. And then put your foot on the brake. And then just simply hit the engine start stop button straight away. So that's another way to start the car up. See everything wakes up. So now let's go ahead and close the door.
and explore the interior. So now let us start off with the interior tour. So let's start with the steering wheel. So the steering wheel in this Renault Capture is wrapped in very nice and smooth leather. As you can see, it features sport grips at 10 and 2 as well. And you have black stitching going around the inner rim. So overall, the steering wheel does feel very nice to hold. And the leather is really nice as well. It feels really smooth to the touch. And overall, the steering wheel does look very nice as well. And you get this setting chrome finishing on this side and on this side as well. And even on the bottom spoke as well, right here. And yeah, overall, the steering wheel does feel very nice to hold as well. So on the left spoke, you have your cruise control and speed limiter controls. So you can program your cruise control via the cell controls right there. On the right spoke, you have your voice command controls. So you can program your voice commands via the cell controls right here. So on the bottom right stock, as you can see right here, you have your audio controls for your infotainment system. So you have your different sources and audio button right here. Your on-hook, off-hook button for the Bluetooth telephone system. Your volume controls are right here, as you can see. And you have your different mode selection button at the back here. So these are your controls for the infotainment system. So on the right stock, you have your wiper controls, as you can see. This car does come in automatic wipers as well. And on the left stock, you have your light and indicator controls. The Renault Capture does come in automatic headlamps as well. It's a triple turn signal as well. And I really love the indicator chime as well. Sounds very nice. And look at these two buttons at the end of the wiper stock to go through the multi-information display located within the instrument cluster as you can see on top there. Currently displaying your trip and mileage. So just look at these two buttons. This is to go up the menu and go down. So click on go up. You can go through your different menus. So currently displaying your mileage and trip. You can go through your service menu your temperature and your time average speed distance travel range current fuel consumption average fuel consumption how many liters of fuel used and back to your uh, distance traveled and your mileage so this part retains the same as your digital speedometer you get your tachometer to the left and your fuel gauge to the right so overall the Meter cluster design does look very nice as you can see it looks very futuristic as well so the steering wheel in this Renault Capture is still and telescopic you adjust it using a lever down here and overall the steering wheel does feel very nice as well when you turn it's very smooth that's the horn so that's your horn so as I mentioned just now the Renault Capture does come with power folding side mirrors to fold the side mirrors in from the inside, just flick this lever all the way to the right. As you can see. And if the switch is in the center position, it will remain in auto mode. So that means when you lock and unlock the car, the side mirrors will fold out and fold in respectively. And this is to fold them out manually. And this is to fold them in. So now let us move on to the center. So up here, you get a storage area right there. So this part is finished in rather hard plastics right here. This part is finished in high quality plastics. This finish in soft touch plastics as you can see. Right here is finished in high quality plastics. This part is finished in gloss black with this setting chrome finishing. This part is rather hard plastics and gloss black right here as well. So you get your hazard light button right here. As you can see. Your electronic central locking button. So let's move on to the infotainment system. So the Renault Capture does come with a seven inch touchscreen head unit right here with six speakers for the sound system. 
So let's just give it a quick sound test. Just hear the sound. And overall, I think it sounds rather good. I can't show you the full song because of copyright reasons. So the six speaker sound system does sound quite good from what I heard earlier on. So this is your infotainment system right here. We are currently in your FM AM menu as you can see with all your various stations right there. On the left, you have your USB port right here, your auxiliary port. And this is for your SD card. So you have your on-off button right here, your back button, your home button and your volume controls right there. So currently we are in your FM AM menu as you can see with your station playing and all that. You can go through your different list of stations as you can see. You have all the preset stations ready right here. As you can see and the screen is quite responsive as well. So hit the home button to go to your home screen. So as you can see this is your home screen. You have your search button right there, your map. Because this car comes with navigation. So you can view your map, FM AM menu. And this car for the 2019 facelift, it did come with uh, Waze and Jukes support as well. So you can bring up Waze and Jukes right here as well. So let's start off with your Bluetooth telephone menu. So you can pair your phone via the Bluetooth function. And you can access your keypad, your contacts, your history, your devices, and your various uh, Bluetooth settings. Your radio menu, your music. So this is where you can pair up your phone via Bluetooth. As you can see, link port, USB, and your SD card slot. You can play Bluetooth music as well. And the apps, you have a phone link, navigation as well. So you can bring up your map via the navigation. You have your TuneIn, Foursquare, Voice Search. Even you have Google as well for the infotainment system, which is really good. So you can Google search. As you can see, auxiliary even you have instagram i didn't know you have that audio settings you can adjust your equalizer settings your sound settings your bass mid treble and all that and your surround sound as well so you can turn it off or on instagram as well you have instagram so you can pair up your phone and all that via here and you can access your instagram account browser voice assist as i mentioned it has voice command File Management, Twitter, Adobe, Acrobat, Downloads, Video Gallery, Calculator, Calendar, even YouTube as well. So it does support YouTube. So if you have a Renault Capture, please log in and subscribe to my channel AAD Cars. I'll be really happy if you do that. So you have Google Search, Option Settings and Manual Settings. So this is by far one of the best infotainment systems I think. Uh, in terms of the apps, so you have your daily apps like YouTube, Instagram and all that which is really good and the system is really responsive as well so you can go back or hit the home button to take you back to the main screen so you have Jukes music as well but I appreciate if it has Spotify because I think most people use Spotify nowadays, not Jukes so Jukes is the one that is similar to the Protons that you find you have Waze, Waze is a really really helpful feature especially when you're driving so you can key in your points of interest and the map resolution is really clear so you don't need to even use the Renault navigation system so yeah that's about it for the infotainment system to go back to radio just hit on radio and it'll take you back to your radio display right there so yeah overall it's a very good infotainment system and it's really good to use and it's really easy as well to use and overall it's very nice So now moving on to the climate controls. So the Renault Capture does come with a single zone automatic climate control system right here as you can see. So this knob adjusts your fan speed, circulation button right here, air conditioning off, different modes, front and rear defrost, automatic button and your temperature knob right here. And overall, the climate controls do feel um, very easy to use. They're rather easy to use and the knobs do feel very nice as well. So this part is finished in gloss black. And you get this brush chrome finishing right here as well. Down here, you get your push start button and your key slot right here. So as I mentioned, you have two ways to start the car. This part is finished in rather hard plastics. And this is also hard plastics. So right here, you have a storage area. And you get a power outlet right there as well. 
So your gear lever is right here. The Renault Capture does come with a six-speed automatic transmission controlled via this gear lever right here. The sides are finished in leather. You get this brush chrome finishing and this gloss black finishing as well on the sides. And this part is finished in leather with black stitching. And down here, you get the same setting chrome finishing right here. So you get your gear icons right here and down here as well. So the top part is illuminated at night, but the bottom part is not illuminated at night. So your icons are right here and you get manual mode as well. Shift it all the way to the back and once to the left. And you can shift manually via the gear lever. And yeah, overall the gear lever does look very nice. This part is finished in plastics as well. Mechanical handbrake right here. Down here you get your eco mode button. Your um, speed limiter controls right here. You get a little storage area right here, as you can see. Couple of cup holders right here. And a rear storage area together with a power outlet. are the seats one more look at the interior so moving up here you get a manual dimming rear view mirror as you can see up here front reading lights your passenger airbag reminder and your seatbelt reminder right there and I personally love the rear view mirror design. It's manual dimming as you can see. Sun visor for the driver's side. Just get a vanity mirror. And the driver loses out on the grab handle sadly. You get a white roof liner as you can see. So this is the driver's view of the interior once again. Overall, the interior looks very nice, if you ask me. Really love the interior look. Alright. So, I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And let us continue with the rest of the tour. So now on the rear doors, you get a speaker down here, you get a bottle holder and a storage area, window control right here, this little storage area right here as well, and your chrome door handle. So this part is finished in high plastics, this is in soft touch plastics, soft touch plastics right here as well with contrast stitching, hard plastics applied there. And you don't get the chrome surrounds for the rear speakers. Overall, the door panels do look very nice. You get rear adjustable headrest as well. And the doors do open quite wide as well, as you can see. So let's get inside. So the driver's seat is set to my driving position. I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 170 centimeters tall. There is not enough of space to stretch my feet underneath the driver's seat, just about enough. As for legroom, I don't get that much either. I only get about this much. But as for headroom, I get about this much. 
But since you don't feel a bit cramped for me back here, I don't think you'll be that comfortable for long distance drives, but for a short distance, you'll be quite alright. The rear seats are finished in hard plastics at the back here. Rather hard plastics, there's no seat storage, surprisingly, for both sides. You get the nice leather headrest right here, and you can hold on to this part as well. Get a grip handle up here. For both sides. Up here you get your rear cabin lights. So there's the interior of the Renault Capture. And yeah, overall the interior looks very nice from this angle. It's a rather unique interior. It's simple but looks quite good nonetheless. So you can actually fold down the center seat if you want to carry long items as well at the back here. You get tiny quarter windows right there. fuel door right here so to open up the rear hatch go towards the rear hatch itself locate a touchpad beneath the Renault badge just press on it and the boot will open right up Boot space in the Renault Capture is pretty alright. You get this parcel shelf right here. You get a light right there. And beneath this boot floor, you get a storage area as well. And the seats can be folded as well to increase the boot space further. And yeah, overall the boot space is quite good. The opening is quite wide. So you can load tall items easily. There's an option to opt for the powered tailgate as well, but this one is not equipped with it. Now let's close it. So for the passenger side door, you get a speaker right here with the chrome surrounds, storage area, window control, the little storage area right here, chrome door handle, the same materials as the driver's side. So the passenger seat also gets uh, full manual adjustments. But you lose out on the seat height adjustment. So you only get your seat position lever right here. And your seat back knob right there. Seats are finished in the same leather as well. here nicely sized glove box sun visor for the passenger side does get a vanity mirror and the passenger side does get a grip handle
So this is the reverse camera of the Renault Capture. Overall, it has a clear resolution as you can see, and it looks very nice. So now let's start the car with the door closed. Thank you. 